Hey Falcons fans, we have a lot to discuss, so without further ado, hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed here to stay informed. Let's go! Now, let's talk about the end of the preseason. It's safe to say that our Falcons didn't close out the preseason the way we hoped. A 31-0 loss to the Jacksonville Jaguars isn't exactly the kind of moment we wanted to have heading into week one, even though most of our starters were on the sidelines. But hey, the preseason is all about evaluation, right? And while it wasn't pretty, it did give us a clear picture of who will likely be on the 53-man roster when the regular season begins, and who may have played their way out of it. Let's get to it. First up, wide receiver Dylan Drummond. The wide receiver room was already set with guys like Drake London, Darnell Mooney, Ray Ray McLeod III, and Kadero Hodge locking in their spots. But with Rondale Moore's season-ending injury, there was an opportunity for someone to step up and claim a final roster spot. Unfortunately, Dylan Drummond didn't do enough to make that happen. Drummond, who had a chance after playing one game with the Detroit Lions last season, simply couldn't capitalize on his chances this preseason. He finished with six total receptions for just 19 yards in three games, and in Friday's game, he only caught one for two yards. Compare that to Chris Blair, who, despite a quieter final game, had already made his mark in the first two preseason games with 136 receiving yards. It's tough, but in the battle for that final roster spot, Drummond didn't do enough to overshadow Blair. Next, let's talk about Carlos Washington Jr., running back. The running back depth chart is pretty much set at the top with Bijan Robinson and Tyler Algeyer, but the real question has been who would secure the spots further down the line. Avery Williams, known for his reliable return game, seems safe, leaving the final spot likely between Jace McClellan and Carlos Washington Jr. Washington had a chance to make a statement, but he failed to deliver what it mattered most. After a promising performance in the second preseason game, he struggled in the finale, rushing for just seven yards on four attempts. In contrast, McClellan, a sixth-round pick, has the advantage of being a recent draft pick, which often carries weight in these decisions. It seems like Washington may be on the outside looking in as the Falcons finalize their roster. And finally, the biggest name on this list, quarterback Taylor Heineke. This is a tough one because Heineke has been a reliable veteran presence and has history with the Falcons. But with Kirk Cousins locked in as the starter and rookie Michael Penix Jr. impressing in limited action, the question now is whether the Falcons will take a third quarterback into the regular season. Heineke had a chance to shine in the preseason, but his performance fell short. Completing just 8 of 17 passes for 81 yards in the final game isn't what you want to see from a guy fighting for a roster spot. Add that to his struggles last season, and it's clear Heineke is in a precarious position. The Falcons could keep him as insurance given the injury concerns surrounding Cousins and Penix, but if they decide to stick with just two quarterbacks, Heineke could find himself on the trade block. So there you have it, Falcons fans. Three players who might have been off the roster in the preseason finale. It's never easy to see guys fighting for their NFL careers, but that's the reality of this league. Now, I want to hear from you. What do you think of these roster moves? Should the Falcons keep Heineke as their third quarterback, or should they move on? And as for the other roster battles, did anyone else catch your eye this preseason? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's dive into some exciting news about one of our own, A.J. Terrell, and why his recent contract extension is more than just a big payday. It's a commitment to Atlanta, both on and off the field. A.J. Terrell has officially secured the bag, and he did it in a way that speaks volumes about his character and dedication to the Falcons. With his four-year, $81 million contract extension, Terrell is now one of the highest-paid cornerbacks in the NFL, second only in annual salary. But this deal isn't just about the numbers. It's about a young man who's all in on the Falcons, the city of Atlanta, and the fans who have supported him since day one. Coach Raheem Morris, who was the Falcons' defensive coordinator when Terrell was drafted in 2020, is quick to remind everyone that A.J. is his guy. In fact, Morris jokingly claimed, that was my draft pick, not Terry's, after our recent preseason finale against the Jaguars. It's a lighthearted moment, but it underscores the close relationship between Morris and Terrell, one that has grown stronger over the years. Morris knew Terrell was special from the moment he saw him during the pre-draft process. He recognized the cornerback's resilience, toughness, and character, qualities that have only become more apparent as Terrell has grown into a leader on and off the field. Fast forward to this summer, as contract discussions quietly took place behind the scenes, Terrell continued to show up, work hard, and lead by example without letting the talks distract him. 
When Terrell spoke about his contract situation at the start of training camp, he made it clear he wasn't going to let negotiations get in the way of his performance. And he stayed true to his word, keeping his focus on the game and his teammates while trusting his agent, David Mulligetta, to handle the business side of things. This level of professionalism is rare in today's NFL, where holdouts and public disputes over contracts are more common than ever. Terrell's dedication to the Falcons and the city of Atlanta is even more remarkable when you consider his roots. A native of Atlanta, Terrell played at Westlake High School, where he's set to be an honorary captain and have his jersey retired on August 30th. For Terrell, playing for his hometown team isn't just a job, it's a dream come true. Walking through the Mercedes-Benz Stadium on Friday night, Terrell could feel the support from the fans, many of whom have watched him grow from a high school standout to one of the top corners in the NFL. Growing up here and being able to stay home for your NFL career, a lot of people don't get this opportunity, Terrell said. When I go out there and play, it's always for my family, the city, and the team. Since entering the league in 2020, Terrell has been a rock for the Falcons' defense. He started every game he's played, missing only five contests in four seasons. In 2023, he was on the field for all 17 games, racking up 45 tackles for tackles for loss and 11 passes defended. But Terrell's impact goes beyond the stats. He's a respected leader in the locker room, earning the role of team captain in just his third year. Off the field, Terrell is making a difference too. Through his A.J. Terrell Foundation, he's working to improve educational and athletic opportunities for Atlanta's youth. He's committed to being a positive force in the community, using his platform to give back and inspire the next generation. I'm still trying to find ways to be more of a staple in the community and just represent Atlanta, Terrell said. When Terrell signed his extension, it was a special moment for everyone involved, including Coach Morris, who finally got the chance to meet Terrell's family after years of being apart due to the pandemic and Morris's stint with the Rams. For Morris and GM Terry Fontenot, seeing Terrell rewarded for his hard work and dedication was a proud moment. They both emphasized how much Terrell deserves this deal, and they expressed gratitude to Falcons owner Arthur Blank for keeping homegrown talent on the roster. As for Terrell, he's feeling nothing but gratitude. He's thankful to Blank and Fontenot for believing in him and giving him the opportunity to continue his career in Atlanta. And he's made it clear that he hopes to stay with the Falcons for the long haul. I just give thanks to Arthur Blank and Terry Fontenot for believing in me and seeing what they saw in me being here for the next four years and hopefully forever, Terrell said. Just being able to bless me and my family and just be the best version of myself for the next four years. With his new contract in hand, Terrell is more motivated than ever to help the Falcons succeed. He's at a strong training camp, showing off his skills in Jimmy Lake's new defensive scheme, which should give him more opportunities to make plays. And with elite safeties Jesse Bates 3 and Justin Simmons backing him up, Terrell is confident that the Falcons can make a serious push for the playoffs, and maybe even more. Falcons fans, what do you think? Are you as excited as I am to see what A.J. Terrell can do this season with his future secured in Atlanta? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you never miss an update on your Atlanta Falcons. Go Falcons!